Hey guys, today is February 8th. This is my good friend Chelsea. Hi. She's um, directed me in her film and she's going to direct me in another project that you'll see soon. I'm really excited about that. Me too. And today we're going to do a mukbang. Our feast, we started with a shrimp alfredo linguine pasta with a lot of cheese and shrimp. And then we have a garlic French bread toast with cheese on it as well. This you're excited about, right? Uh, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is a two times spicy Korean noodle. We and we have pancakes. Okay, yeah, I'll try that okay, first because okay. I'm not going to be able to okay, eat okay. more than a bite. Oh yeah. my god. I'll mix it up for you. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, we made that. No, I'm oh, glad that oh, it's um It's okay. It's oh my God, not I can get the spicy part at the bottom. Do you want the um, spicy part? No, I want to try a little okay, bit. Okay, cool. I want to try a real bite. Like what's the worst about this noodle is the fact that it's hot. So the fact that we did it like quite early is good for you. Do you want to use the chopstick? Yeah. Oh no, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh my god. Let it sit for a while. Let it sit for a while. I can't. <laughs> I'm too white for this. <laughs> Do you want to try another bite? Mm -mm. Are you mm. sure? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a mistake. I need a pancake. Just kind of like that. Ow. Wow. Props to you. All my taste buds are burnt forever. <laughs> How do people do that? I don't know. It's spicy for me. Wow. Do you want? Do you know what kind of spices are in it? No. Just that it's spicy. Dude, I'm so excited for this. Oh Chelsea God. made this. Yeah. Oh yeah. These are great pancakes. Mm. This is really good. It cancels out the spiciness. You that should, oh, wow. should eat it. <laughs> okay. That's really good. Ooh. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that what good pussy sounds like? Yeah. It is. What is what good pussy sounds like? <laughs> oh my god. Chelsea watched one of my Trich videos and she told me when I was working on her set, she was rubbing blood all over me. She told me that she also has Trich. Mm -hmm. I started in fifth grade. Um, I pulled my hair out and it was just like one hair and like it hurt a little bit but it was like a release. Do you remember where you were? Yeah, I was in the playground at recess. Are you just sitting, walking? I was sitting alone. <laughs> yeah, I think I just went to that because it was like a stressful time in my life. Like parents divorced, like, and then it just started from there. And like, it got really bad that year because I didn't tell anyone because I didn't know what it was mm -hmm. either. And I finally like told my mom that I was pulling my hair out versus it just falling out. Mm -hmm. And oh, then, did you? Did yeah. you think it was falling out? Yeah, because so I was like too ashamed oh, to wow. like, yeah. Yeah, it's so weird because it does feel like something to be ashamed about because as much as it is happening to you, you're making it happen to yourself, you know? Yeah. So it seems like you should have some sense of control in it, but you, when you're doing it, you can't. Mm -hmm. like, People like just stop and it's yeah. like, don't tell I, an I alcoholic can't. to just stop. Yeah. <laughs> Mmm, this is good. It's really good. <laughs> We're about to get 14 inches of snow. Mm -hmm. In our acting and directing class, um, you just like twirling the hair a lot. Oh! Right when, like, like, right when you were like rehearsing lines. And I was like, that's what people with Twitch do. Cause like I don't I don't necessarily twiddle I'm more so like I like pull it and mm -hmm. then let go, um, but I noticed it and I was like you have that and you know who else totally has it Cole Sprouse like in every interview he's always like 
pulling his hair. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say some like someone we both knew. No. no. I don't I had never met anyone, Trich, until you. Me too. Did it ever happen with your eyebrows? No, I mean I did pluck them a lot. Um but it wasn't like I wouldn't be able to just pull it out. Um, but like other hair on my body just became easier to pull out too when I didn't want to like get mm -hmm. patches of hair. I know for people, eyelashes is one of them. Did you ever do that? Mm -mm, not eyelashes. Did you do eyelashes? Never to the point where I didn't have any. Mm -hmm. Just I would do this and if one came out, I would make a wish, but I wouldn't, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I already don't have a lot. <laughs> I took off my jeans because I wanted my stomach to be able to expand. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Not to be like weird, but like last year, my first year of college, like I started pulling again and I was like, I can't do this. Like I can't go like bald mm -hmm. in the middle of school. And I wound up doing like my armpits. Mm -hmm. I do that. And my, my pubes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so satisfying mm -hmm. because you're like getting two things done at one time. Mm -hmm. And it's free. Yeah. I use the tweezer though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I can't pull anything with my fingers besides my head hair. I, I can. <laughs> and I, I Maybe do my, some armpit. Yeah, I, I do my knuckle hair too. I can't pull those. I do it. For my pubes, like, I hate the fact that I do it because there's so much scarring. Like, um, I would mm -hmm. get ingrowns or they would just be like spots like... For example, if someone has like pimple scars and they scratch at it, you know how that leaves a scar? It's like, like that for me down there. Same. And I get so, um, th isn't this nice? Don't you like how I'm speaking like this? Yeah. I get it's, so self-conscious because I'm like, what if someone sees and they think I have STDs and stuff, mm. you know? Whereas it's just like me fiddling around with it. And one guy asked one time if an ingrown hair was an STD right before he was gonna fuck me. I was like, no, motherfucker. <laughs> it's an ink on hair, you imbecile. Mm -hmm. And because there's no pressure for guys to maintain anything. Yeah, they can just have a bush and then you have no idea what's on their skin under there. Yeah. Oh, I, I just imagined that. Yeah. How did you choose Columbia? I had visited Chicago before and I liked it way better than New York City. Not that I don't love New York City, but I grew up in New Jersey and New York City was just too close to home. Um, and California, like Hollywood, was too far, so I thought Chicago was like a good in-between. And Columbia was just like a great school. All the classes that they have. What about you? I was really unsure about coming to an art school. Were you? Mm -mm. What schools did you apply to? Pratt, which is in Brooklyn, New York. And LMU, which is in... I think Los Angeles. Los, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, California. Louis La Mara? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I heard that's a really good film school. I would have to study a lot of religion there, and you can study any mm -hmm. religion. Mm -hmm. But I just don't like colleges that require people. I mean, like, Columbia does it too, but like... The, does it? Yeah, you have to take, like, not a religion class, but, um, like a world honors social political class. Oh, mm-hmm. Which I don't mind that, but religion... I'm not sure I'm gonna find anything for film in there. Mm -hmm. I was very unsure, mm -hmm. and Columbia is the only art school I applied to, and it ended up being like the perfect choice mm -hmm. because the other liberal arts school that I did get into, they were like sixty thousand a year, and my family can't afford that. The other school that was cheap and around the same price range offered me a four thousand dollars scholarship, but it was like not in the city and way up in like. Washington and it was like mm. kind of a community college vibe. Columbia is the one that I wanted to go to and yeah. I, I feel like it's right like I feel, I feel like, like when I'm here and like every time I come back I feel like I'm in the right place mm -hmm. for right now, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna live in Chicago after mm -hmm. just because this winter is too crazy. Oh wow, oh, how's New Jersey winter like? I mean, it's still pretty awful, but like the fact that I can't go outside and walk to my classes without like being painfully cold, um, I'm not into that. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that in New Jersey? Um, no, because I can drive everywhere in New Jersey. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah, Chicago is not a very easy city to have a car in. It's, yeah. Yeah, and I just think I should be in a place that's warm year round because I have seasonal depression. Oh. Actually. Oh. Um, 
So like winters are awful. I definitely have that. Like I uploaded a video the other day. It's about like me running 10K and it was last winter actually. My roommates had all gone back home and I was dealing with just like the situation of not feeling like I'm enough. And it was my first winter away from home and mm -hmm. I was living alone and that I was in such a bad place. Like I was depressed like crazy. Yeah, I went to Australia and that was really good for me. So I think yeah. I'm still vulnerable to that and I don't know how I'm gonna be like in the next few years, you know? So winters are difficult, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I feel like it's because of the lack of sun and the lack of like warmth. And I feel like everyone feels more beautiful in the summer, you know? I got that summertime sadness. <laughs> it's so sad, but I take such long hot showers because I'm lonely and cold. Mm -hmm. And there's a study that's like, you take longer showers or baths if you're depressed. And that's true. Yeah, because you literally just stand there and like don't do anything. It feels like human contact. Mm -hmm. And when people lay in bed all day, that's like a big sign of depression. Mm -hmm. and like that's so easy to do when you can just, well not for you, cause your roommate's right there, but mm -hmm. like if you can like shut out other roommates, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then you're just like alone. My stomach's gonna implode. Did you talk about on your YouTube how Lord was robbed? Mm -mm. And Kendrick Lamar. Bruno Mars. I didn't even know what that album was called or what that song was called. Mm -hmm. There was this big thing about Grammys using like female or minority artists to advertise their event and mm -hmm. them not giving them any of the words. Yeah, and all of the album of the year artists were asked for a performance. <gasps> yeah, except for Lore. Yeah, she would get a performance slot, but only if she shares it with somebody else, which yeah. is so f crazy. Yeah. Like no, no. I feel like there's lots of layers in that. There's like ageism. People might think like you've only been in the industry for so long, like you can't. And sexism, definitely. Yeah. I bet some bitch was like, she'll probably just dance. Like, she was sick and she fucking killed it. Do you remember the first time we met each other? In class? Yeah. At that class was just so weird, but like, I liked maybe five, six people. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I like most of them. I just didn't like a few of the guys, I guess. Not that I didn't like them, but. There was tension there. Yeah. I had pink hair. It was like, I only had pink hair for like two days when I came in and it was bright pink. It was great. I was like, wow, her name's Coco and she has pink hair. <laughs> and, um, I remember one time, I don't remember if you remember. Wow, there's so many remembers in that sentence. Remember, remember. What's the name of the teacher? Cheryl Gareth. Yeah, Cheryl asked us to. <laughs> I know she's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl asked us to to like close your eyes and imagine a happy place. Remember that? Uh huh. I started crying. Yeah, that was pretty intense because I got really happy and then I came back to reality yeah. and I was like, why am I here? I think someone else was crying too, but that was David probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This kid punched a hole through the wall. Mm -hmm. And then during one of the acting scenes, he got really into it and then he threw a chair and I think mm -hmm. something, I think the wall was broken again. Yeah. <laughs> so you're in uh, cinema directing one now. Yeah. Um, are there any other girls in that class? Two. Mm -hmm. Same as me. When I was in cinema directing one, which was last semester, I had Morgan as well as this other girl. Uh, I forgot her name. It starts with M. I really like her. Why, why can't I remember her name? I don't know, but I like her. I'm just really bad with names. I'm really good with faces. Yeah, the three of us were the only females, and now I'm in cinema directing two, and there's only eight people in one class. So it's a small class, but um, I'm glad I'm not the only girl in there. Is it I'm Morgan? Claire. Claire. Claire's in this class. Oh. And she's Asian as well, so that's mm -hmm. cool. The, the numbers are going down as we go up and up. 
Yeah, I have a girl from Ireland and a girl from Beijing in my class. Whoa, that's awesome! Yeah. So that's incredible. There's like three other Beijing students as cool. well. Cool. Yeah. I should talk to them. I'm thinking about get, taking... Well, I don't know if I will go through with this, but getting my master's in the Beijing Film Academy. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of that school? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I know some people from there that go here. Whoa, that's awesome. One of the, the girl of mine. Dude, hit class. me up. That school yeah. is like intense. Like it's one of the top films. She has this really world. big puffy jacket that like says it on it. We can cut this out if you don't feel comfortable talking about it. No, it's fine. I mean, whatever. What what is? Binge eating. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. You wanna yeah. talk about it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Educate, right? Uh-huh. You can only educate by telling your stories. So this is my first time speaking about it. Actually speaking about it. I've probably hinted about it a couple of times. I have binge eating disorder. I don't throw up afterwards. If I could, I would. Which sounds horrible. I know it sounds horrible. And people out there, if they watch me, are gonna be like, that's not good. Like, you're glorifying or romanticizing something that kills people. And I get that. But I suffer from the eating disorder, binge eating disorder, and it comes when I am vulnerable, I don't feel important, or when I'm really stressed, or when I don't sleep enough, or just unhappy in general. If I can take away the negative side of my body taking, keeping the calories that I eat, then of course I want to do that, which sounds horrible, and I know that, but this is how I think right now. Yeah. Yeah, so I also have binge eating disorder. Um, I guess slash bulimia because I, I purge quite often. Is that what it's called? Yeah, like throwing up the food. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Purge? Binge Isn't there purge. like a movie called Purge? Yeah. Purge? Yeah, that's not about that though. Yeah, I've seen it, but why is it called Purge? Because it's like expelling. Oh. Like expelling the world of like these people or expelling your body of this food. Um, Do you remember the first time you purged? Yeah, I was in seventh grade, maybe sixth grade. Um, and it was like, I just like was very depressed about like my body weight, which I wasn't even heavy back then. It's just I wasn't as tiny mm -hmm. as the other girls, you know? So I was just like, oh, well, I'm just this fat girl, so like I'll eat like all this food. And then it just wound up making me so sick that I would throw it up. And mm -hmm. then I, I looked on the web and there's all the answers to um, those pro uh the inspiration websites oh, wow. or whatever you know um yeah and i don't know it's been something i've always been dealing with trying to get better but I'm not succeeding because like i feel like once i'm in college like um there's no set meal time yeah there's no set anything there's no parents like you're just eating whatever you want, whenever you want kind of deal. Mm -hmm. And like, I didn't know what to do with that freedom. So here I am. <laughs> Were you a transfer or something? No, no, no. You came to, we're yeah. in the same. Yeah. Track. Okay, okay. So how was that like first couple months like of college? Um, maybe like the first few weeks it was fine. I made friends with like one group of girls, Kaylin and Zoe's group friends i don't know we went to a few parties so i guess it was fun but i was still really lonely the whole time i never made any actual friends mm -hmm. until like the end of the year i like really only talked to my roommate about the thing of like feeling like you're too fat even though you when you look back at pictures you're like what the fuck was i thinking yeah, yeah, you're like, so tiny yeah it's like sad it's like wow like i, I could have been happy Sorry, yeah I keep no up. no it's the same like i feel the same way i'm editing um videos from exactly two years ago and i talk about it i'm like 
because I'm fat, haha. -ha. And I look at myself, and right now, if I had the body that I had two years ago, mm -hmm. I would be happy. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I feel like if I had the body, I mean, I feel like it just started like in college, really. My weight started just like getting like crazy out there. Mm -hmm. How's, um, like, do you have a support system or like how does your does your family talk about it? No, we don't really it's, it sounds sad, but we don't really talk to each other. Just like little and far in between and I don't really like let them into anything, mm -hmm. you know. I just feel like the they're gonna get too concerned, you oh. know? And you don't need that. Like you mm -hmm. like know it's a problem, like you don't need to hear them say it too yeah but like my boyfriend and even my ex-boyfriend when i was going through all this same shit i would talk to them about it mm -hmm. and they don't they don't know what to do they just listen i don't really tell my parents about a lot of the struggles that i go through mm -hmm. but if i do talk to them and i need some of that like parental like oh you'll be fine that type i i tell them like oh i have so much homework and i'm dealing with it which i am mm -hmm. but that's not what that's not is the, the hardest thing. you know mm -hmm. like that is hard and because of that i'm binging and because of that i feel guilty and stuff i don't know yeah yeah no, totally i feel guilt so much for so many things like little things and like tell me some if my mom buys me a sweater and i don't like it like i'll like keep it anyways you oh know God. or like i just feel like guilty for like even now you still keep it i mean no i guess not really but like she hasn't got me a sweater i haven't liked in a while mm -hmm. um <laughs> that was a bad <laughs> example or like when people want to hang out and i just want to lay in bed mm -hmm. you know i feel guilty about that it's like oh i could be socializing but i'm a piece of trash yeah but I just feel like, I don't know, when will I, like, I keep, like, meeting people and, like, seeing people. I'm like, maybe we could be pals, you know? But then I never talk to them. Or, Why like, not? Whatever. I don't know, because I feel like... Well, you talk to me about this. Yeah. Chelsea That's because we have, it. like, crazy, like, I feel like we have this, like, mm -hmm. connection. But at the same time, I feel like I don't see you as much as I want to. Yeah. But I feel that about a lot of people, and I know that... Sometimes I don't even have like a day to myself. Yeah. And I feel that people feel like that. Yeah. So as long as there's like an understanding, like I want to hang out with you. And when we find time, we will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Chelsea is going to direct a part of the Perfect Places music video that I want to put up. Yeah. Yeah. She's a really good director. Like I feel so comfortable with her. I really like the way Cheryl taught us. Yeah, I feel like if I never took that class, I would never know how to talk to an actor, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Right now in Cinema Directing 1, it's just kind of like... You mean 2? Oh, well, I'm talking about when I took oh, Cinema yeah. Directing 1. It was just about like, these are the shots you have to take. Yeah. This way, that way, this is the package you need. There's no like how to speak to your actors. And when did um, the acting teacher came in with to talk to you guys yet? No. For us, the acting teacher came in with the acting students and he's like, this is how you should speak to your actors. Mm -hmm. I learned more from him about actually directing than I did from the directing teacher just because you're looking at the same thing from two different sides. I think it's cool in these classes though that we get to do both sides, act and direct, so you can like internalize how when certain directors say things, how that makes you feel or if it mm -hmm. works for your character. I just got these leggings today and mm -hmm. they have Alfredo all over them. I'm sorry. <laughs> Where'd you get them? Are they heat tech? No, Minus. they're not. Mm -hmm. They're from Uniqlo. These are from um, American Eagle. You haven't even eaten your pancake. Oh, I haven't. Because your Alfredo is so good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I'm still eating. Like, I can <laughs> still eat how I'm going to. Any regrets? About what? Just life in general? I think I kind of regret not going to community college. Just because I know so many people yeah. that did and transferred and got their credits in. Yeah. So I feel that guilt of I could have saved my mom some money, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, I definitely think of that sometimes. Um, I don't know if I would have made it. Like, 
I don't know if I would have gotten out of Yeah, there. exactly. Yeah. Like, I feel like I would have wind up staying in that area, going to mm-hmm. New Jersey school mm-hmm. or whatever, you know? Um, I feel, I really felt senior year, I was like, okay, like, I have to get the fuck out of this mm-hmm. town, like, mm-hmm. one way or another. And so here I am. Because there's a ton of people back home that do nothing, and I don't know. They were mean to me, and now it's like, look at me now, bitch. I'm making films. How big is your graduating class? It was like 700. What about you? 28. 28? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think my school was really big. Our other high schools in my area had like 300, but we were really big. I'm kind of full. I'm really full. I might save this for later, the pancake. I'm gonna eat the noodles though, because there's not a lot of it left. <laughs> You're crazy. I don't remember when I started developing my binge eating disorder, but I think it's around middle school or high school because I was in sports like four or five days out of the week. Mm-hmm. And as much as I was eating, I was burning it off, you know? Yeah. So I didn't feel the consequences, but now it's yeah. just the eating. Yeah. Yeah. I was a dancer before. Which is also like the pressure to be like really tiny. Right. Because, I don't know. All the girls at my dance studio were complete bitches to me. And just I deserved better than them. <laughs> like, how? Because they, they wouldn't were, talk to you or? Yeah, because I came to that dance school sixth grade. And they'd all known each other since they were three. So they were like, fuck no. Who is mm. she? But I had every right to be there. Has there ever been a situation where you were a bully? Yeah, I got bullied a lot, like... from You were the bully. Oh, where I was the bully. No. No? <laughs> no. Um, one time, I wouldn't say I bullied this girl, but I did, like, pour something in her purse. Oh. Why? <laughs> because she, like, was mean to me and she tripped me in class. And told me to buy... Pants Is this high fit. school or middle school? Middle school, <laughs> obviously. Middle school, right after I'd pulled all my hair out, <laughs> and I had a like a mullet. I had like a mullet because of the way that I pulled. I looked like I looked like <laughs> horrendous in this picture. I like tried to dress up as Alice Cullen from Twilight. You know who I'm talking about? Yes, she's so cool. I thought I was like a vampire or something. That was like, I don't know. Movies and books were my friends in middle school, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's funny because that girl, I still talk to to this day because we're friends now. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. But what did you pour in her purse? And who brings purses to school in middle school? Right? It was... (laughs) I hope she never sees this. (laughs) It was this nice... Right after Christmas, Juicy Couture leather purse. She doesn't know it was you? <laughs> <coughs> um, I poured like perfume, lotion, you know, oh polish, my God. all the shit that was in her bag. When she found out, were you there? No. Oh, wow. But did she but tell after, people? <gasps> yeah. She didn't, she thought it was this other girl. <laughs> and, and but that other girl also stole from my purse. <laughs> yeah. What did she steal? She stole um, some Forever Twenty One jewelry and twenty dollars. Middle school is wild. Wow. How do you have twenty dollars in middle school? I don't know. I think it was lunch money, but I was saving it to buy it for other food that I could oh, binge fuck. on later. <laughs> <laughs> Probably that. I think I was gonna buy like Girl Scout cookies or something. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Savory. Like foods in general? I could eat savory food, like salty food, longer than I can eat sweet food. No, I could eat like pastries and cakes and cookies for days. I grew up on top of a bakery. (laughs) I could go down, whatever (laughs) AM, grab whatever and eat. That's nice. That's dangerous. I, I I had a kid in my other class who like had the same thing. What? That he like grew up on top of like his mom's bakery. 
And did he talk about it? Yeah, he wrote like a script about it. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take half of this. I ate three already, so. Okay, so this is my half. Yeah. <laughs> um. I've bullied people. Really? Mm hmm I've like tried to be mean to other girls when they would bully me. Like I would really go at them when they would like call me fat or whatever. I would be like, you've had sex with 20 guys and we're 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I should be like, ah, ah. Sorry, Jenny. Oh no. <laughs> no, I've bullied people, but it was kind of like peer pressure bully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad about it now. But looking back, it was just kind of like following what everybody was doing. Yeah. And I wasn't really thinking. I was just like, if I don't call you this name, like I'm gonna be associated with you and they're gonna start calling me stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was like that. Um, I think that's why maybe I didn't have any friends because there would always be so many other people being bullied and mm -hmm. I would always be like, stop it guys. Or like, she can't control that or like whatever, you know? <laughs> They're like the party pooper. Yeah, and they're like, Chelsea, like, uh, like. How dare you, like, bring up the you, fact that we're being bullied? So they yeah, didn't like you. Yeah, like, like they didn't like it because I made them feel bad mm -hmm. about themselves, which they should have. <laughs> My roommate Maddie um, w was doing a project for her <laughs> class, and Maddie asked Chelsea, Hey, Chelsea, if you, had, if you could have one superhero wish or whatever power, what would it be? And what was your answer? I said, um, the power to make other people happy. I sound like, really? I sound like such a, a geek. Wow. I mean, like, wouldn't that be great, though? Like, because there's so many depressed, sad people in the world. And if you could just, like, enlighten them to their happiness that, like, they can be happy within themselves, then, like, people could be so much better and happier. That would be great. But, you know what would be great? If every time you, like... Snapped your fingers, you got $10 million. Yeah, I mean, I was definitely thinking about money too, but like, money to what extent? I feel like if I could even afford all these things, I still wouldn't be happy. That's true. If I lived like in Malibu, I, I, I would still probably be binging and being depressed. Mm -hmm. I've been full for like the past 15 minutes. Yeah. But there's still food in front of me, so I have to finish it. At least the spicy thing and the garlic bread. I can't finish the pasta, but. I, I can't believe we were thinking of making more than that. <laughs> this was literally like 10 pounds of food. You know what we should do? What? Later in the year, we should do a mukbang of mm -hmm. Stan's donuts. <laughs> I'll do it, but. And just eat a box of donuts. Do you know how much a box is like six donuts cost? It's like $15. That's expensive. Yep, but they're good donuts. Have you had their donuts? Yeah, we can go when it's like, buy one, get one free or something. So many regrets. You'll see that I won't be able to eat as much because it's yeah. sweet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, she just said that though. A little more since it's just fucking sitting here. I'm sorry. No, it's just okay. <laughs> We're back again. We've been recording forever, so it stopped recording by itself, but we're almost done. YouTube channel? Do you want to start one? Yeah, I'd love to have a YouTube channel. I don't know. I don't know what I would talk about sometimes, you know? When you get started, there will be so many ideas that you won't... Even if you live 200 years after your death, you will never finish filming or putting them up. Yeah. So don't worry about that. Because, like, I do have some, like, other films um, on there, but, like... None of like me or like me talking about mm -hmm. anything or me doing anything really. But I do have stuff I could totally put on there. Um, How's your Twitch doing? Like, is it gone? It's It's been okay like this year so far. Like now and then I'll pull a few hairs like in class or something because I won't like notice I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Are you it's naturally so blonde? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's more so my dermatillomania. <gasps> You know, like, so bad, like, my face without makeup looks just like, I don't know, like, someone, like, tried to, like, perform a surgery on it. 
I used to have really bad skin, like scars and stuff. And I think something just shifted. And I just like started doing hair. Like if I don't wear makeup in class mm -hmm. and stuff, I'll like pull like or scratch at a thing. And mm -hmm. you know those like little pockets of sebum? Yeah. Where it just pops right out and there's like no blood or everything. Yeah. Anything. Those Favorites. are really satisfying. Yeah. Yeah, but putting makeup on definitely helps me. Yeah, I mean, same, because sometimes I'll still, like, go to do it, but once my makeup's off, it's like, I better be going straight to bed, or... Oh, shit. And sometimes I get really high, and then I'll sit in front of a mirror, and then two hours later, later I'll Everything's be like... Everything's bleeding? Yeah, I'm like, oh. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> and then, like, I go and see my room, so they're like, you okay? I'm really sorry. I know how that feels. Yeah. After like a bad pull or like a bad skin thing, you're just looking at it and you're like, what if I <laughs> never see someone else again? Yeah. And it's such an isolating experience. Yeah, because. It's so nice to talk to someone. I know. It's literally like I've never had anyone to like talk that understood it from like my perspective, mm -hmm. you know? Because most people I feel like think I'm crazy, you know? Don't do touch you, your face. Do you know who Becky O is? She's like um, a British like YouTuber. I feel like I've heard she, of it though. She's the one who I found out what trick was. Oh, uh-huh. Um, <gasps> yes, 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 yeah, yes! Yeah, oh my gosh, she makes amazing videos. Um, Her like uh, face every day one. Yeah, oh, I love yeah. that heel. She, yeah. I haven't watched her for a while. She hasn't been uploading that much. Yeah, but she like the old is content. how I found, yeah. yeah. And like she made one video that's like things not to say to people uh -huh. with Trich and it's uh -huh. like everything was spot yes. on. Yes! Like my sister would be like, guys don't want to date a, like, a girl that has bald spots. And I'm like, this isn't like a choice. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially when I was so young because I was so confused by it because I didn't know why I was doing it, you know? Mm -hmm. Little me. It's crazy to think back to like how we were when we were young, you know? I have been thinking about shaving my head. Ooh, I've definitely, I thought about that. Um, when last year I had like a pretty big bald spot. Uh -huh. um, and I had like just recently shaved the under part of my head. I was oh, like, I should really? just do the, not recently, but like last year. Oh. Um, I was like, like yeah, I should I'm do the whole thing. My hair right now. Do you think you thought about that because she does it? Yeah, because like it makes sense. Like if it's not there, you can't pull it, and like you want it to grow back in. Mm -hmm. And like even like I have so many baby hairs that just like stick yeah. out everywhere. Yeah, and it looks like and when wild. you pull your hair, is it? Do you look for texture or just um, pull it right? Out? I I look for texture and how yes, it feels yes, like yes. in my scalp. Like oh. if, it, if it feels like a little like like. If it gives me like a sensation, I'll pull it and then like I'll examine it forever. And like I love like feeling the like the end. Yeah. <laughs> For me, like I've destroyed my hair so much, oh. and that's why I'm trying to like not bleach or dye it again. Yeah. Because there, it's very porous down here, and I'll pull it. And if there's some resistance, I'll pull it. And sometimes the whole strand will come right off. Yeah. And I get so mad when my hair gets pulled off by like a jacket or headphones. I'm like, or like a no hair way! Do you ever look at your hairbrush and you're like, fuck you, go yeah. back to my hair. Like, you can come out if you have my permission. Yeah. But it also changed a lot for me in eighth grade when a girl told me about split ends. Uh -huh. and, like, I had no idea. And then like literally for like from eighth grade until senior year, I was always just pulling my split ends in class. Like awfully so. Uh -huh. Like in car rides like my mom would yell at me to yeah, stop doing uh -huh. it and i'm like <sighs> yeah so since my hair has been short i haven't been able to do that yeah exactly um i learned about split ends but i could never do it for my own so i would go to my friends and i oh would my god yes i have her. so many friends i would do that too <laughs> they're just so interesting like pulling them apart and yeah. like they sometimes apart. there's like five split ends on one yeah hair. and it's yeah. like whoa and sometimes like there's only one and you pull it, and it keeps going, like, almost mm -hmm. until the end. Yeah, yeah, I had it where it was, like, to top. Oh, that's crazy. Our hair is, like, mostly straight, and it's not as fine as yours. Like, it's quite, mm -hmm. like, thick. 
yeah so we have some hairs that are just like really 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 curly like i think you guys must too i don't know i mean i personally don't i have very very straight hair but mm -hmm. i mean occasionally i'll find one that's like really spiral yeah yeah, yeah. so i would go through my friend's hair and then mm -hmm. i would take those out for them and that yeah. relieves my like trichness yeah i also think my trich started developing because um my aunts they would ask me to pluck out their white hair with my hand really yeah so i got that like satisfaction reward mm -hmm. first time i pulled out like me and this girl just like did it just to like do it for whatever reason because we were weird kids and then mm -hmm. i would pull like, hair just pull hair out yeah and then like we maybe did it a few more times and then like by the end of the school day i was like okay this is the last one <laughs> And she's like, what are you talking about? Why are you still doing this? <laughs> and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Do you think it's a genetic thing? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. The way that hair stays in and like recedes and whatever is genetic, but actually pulling it and mm -hmm. whatever. OCD oh, is I'm a so genetic thing. Yeah, this is painful. <laughs> uh. I'd redo this. This was delicious, though. I needed this. This fills my heart. <laughs> Good. Talking to you, too. Yeah. I feel, I feel like I'd never really talk to anyone. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know. Like, I mean, like, I'll talk to, like, Catherine sometimes or whatever, but, like, I don't know. I feel pretty reserved to most people, but, like, I think because we have so many, like, trigger issues mm -hmm. in common that mm -hmm. like i just feel like we can talk about whatever i feel uncomfortable like drinking too much because i don't know like the people at college for a long time yet so yeah. i haven't necessarily gotten like wasted or anything but i don't know we'll see what happens um yeah it's weird for me with every boy because i just, just you're dating someone. yes yeah because i'm dating someone but like I'm not gonna talk about that, but if, if a guy is asking me to hang out, how am I supposed to know, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, especially with really friendly guys, yes. you know? Uh -huh. That are just like, we should get coffee and talk about a project. Uh -huh. It's like, what does that mean? I have one last question for you. Okay. I feel like after coming to the States, like you guys have like physical boundaries a lot. Like you don't really touch people. Yeah. That makes me really sad. I I'm mean, like, yeah, I think, I think a lot of people are like kind of like very reserved, but then some other people like, mm -hmm. I know most of my friends are like very like, mm -hmm. touch doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I guess everyone just has like their different boundaries and like, unless you know them for a long time, you're not really sure. Especially when you just meet people, you don't want to like, be like on top of them but at the same time if you're like getting to be really close friends with them mm -hmm. it's like when do you mm -hmm. when's that okay what's your sexual orientation i like just guys um i've never been with a girl mm -hmm. so have you kissed I, a girl um not like really mm -hmm. <laughs> but i mean I like your teeth have you had braces yeah <gasps> uh, do you still wear retainers yeah oh, they're perfect <laughs> thanks can you see the chip here? On here? Yeah. Yeah. I sneezed really hard a few <gasps> months ago and it just <gasps> chipped. It was awful and I'm so mad at myself. It was I have to really focus. I know, on but like once you see lot. you can't unsee it. Okay, smile. Well. No, like I I still can't. It's fine. I think about like being old and like having bald spots and it makes me sad. Yeah, I think about just how gross I'll be and how just I really hope I found someone that won't care and will still love me. Because mm -hmm. you know how when you get old, like, you don't know if they're like a grandma or a grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> and there's like wrinkles yeah. everywhere. <laughs> they're just like bald, they're smiling, there's wrinkles, gender neutral clothing. Mm -hmm. What about you? Are you straight? I, I'm, I think I am. I'm not sure. Like, I've never met a girl that I am interested in like romantically i think it's something i want to pursue pursue i feel like college is such a great time for that but like i'm in a relationship so can i have a hug yeah wait oh i love you coco i love you mm -hmm. i love it
See, like, I haven't touched someone in, like, so yeah, long. Yeah, I haven't had a hug in a really long time. I realized how much of that. that. I really Aww. needed that. Yeah. Um, I would hug people, though, when we're, like, about to leave. And it's just, like, a... But, like, yeah. sometimes I take advantage of it. I'm, like, yeah. I'm getting in my, like, touch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what's I really so weird it. about yeah. college in Chicago. Like, no one, like... Oh, is it just a Chicago thing? I mean, like, I don't know. I just, like... I don't hug people mm -hmm. as much, I feel, you know? It's definitely sad. All right. Well, uh, I'm really freaking full. Thanks for all the food. Thank you for Thank your time. Thank you for your hospitality. And You're for welcome. Being here. Please start a channel so I can link it in the description below. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Okay, that is our mukbang. I am really thankful for all the conversation we had. Yeah. I think this is really useful instead of just being like, just eating you know there was a topic of conversation yeah. and we talked about things that are very difficult to talk about yeah especially. so eating definitely helps yeah bye guys thank bye. you thanks